to honor the strong and wonderful women i am extremely happy in bringing you a list of first women in india who have performed extraordinarily in their respective fields and are seen as a role model by other women of our country Razia Sultan was a ruler of the Delhi Sultanate in the northern part of the Indian subcontinent. She was the first female Muslim ruler of the subcontinent and the only female Muslim ruler of Delhi. Dr. Annie Besant. She was the first president of the Indian National Congress and one of the most important persons to establish the Women's Indian Association at Adyar Madras. She joined the Congress in 1914 and brought new ideas, talents, new resources and all together a new method of organization and a new outlook into the field of Congress. Sarojini Naidu, the first Indian born woman to be the president of the Indian National Congress during the year 1925. She came to be regarded as the nightingale of India and was a poet of merit and her poems received reviews in the English press. The period from 1917 to 1919 was the most dynamic phase of her career. She campaigned for the Montague Chelmsford reforms, the Khilafat issue, the Draconian Rowlatt Act and the Satyagraha. Her presence was a signal for hundreds of other women to join the freedom movement and eventually the salt protest was made successful by many women who not only made salt but also sat openly in marketplaces selling and indeed buying it after independence she became the first woman governor of uttar pradesh suchita kripalani she was the first woman chief minister of Uttar Pradesh she was a great freedom fighter of India and she was elected as a member of the constituent assembly in 1946 like her contemporaries Aruna Asafali and Usha Mehta she came to the forefront of the Indian freedom struggle during the Quit India movement after independence she remained involved with the politics in Uttar Pradesh and was elected to the Lok Sabha in 1952 and 1957 and served as a minister of state for small scale industries she became the first woman chief minister of Uttar Pradesh Indira Gandhi was an Indian politician and a central figure of the Indian National Congress she was the first and to date the only female prime minister of India She was the first woman to be awarded with the Bharat Ratna during the year 1971. Sushma Swaraj, she was the first woman chief minister of Delhi during the period 1998. She was an Indian politician and a Supreme Court lawyer, a senior leader of Bharatiya Janata Party. Sushma Swaraj served as the Minister of External Affairs of India in the first Narendra Modi government. She was the second woman to hold the office after Indira Gandhi. Pratibha Devi Singh Patil is an Indian politician who served as the 12th president of India from 2007 to 2012. A member of the Indian National Congress, Pratibha Patil is the only woman to have held the office. She had previously served as the governor of Rajasthan from 2004 to 2007. It's a great honor to hold the position of the president of india as the only woman rajkumari amrit kaur she was an indian activist and a politician following her long lasting association with the indian independence movement she was appointed as the first health minister of india in 1947 and remained in office until 1957 Rukmini Devi Arundel was an Indian theosophist dancer and choreographer of the Indian classical dance form of Bharatanatyam and an activist for animal welfare She was the first woman to be nominated as a member of the Rajya Sabha during the period 1952 to 1962 Mrs Shano Devi She was an Indian politician and was the first woman speaker of a state assembly in India. 
and she was a member of the Indian National Congress from the state of Punjab. Violet Alva She was an Indian lawyer, journalist and politician and the deputy chairperson of the Rajya Sabha and the member of the Indian National Congress. She was the first woman lawyer to appear before a high court in India and the first to preside over the Rajya Sabha. V S Ramadevi was an Indian British Raj states woman who was the first lady to become the 13th governor of Karnataka and the 9th chief election commissioner of India from 26 November 1990 to 11th December 1990 and she was the first woman to become the chief election commissioner of India as well Mamta Banerjee is an Indian politician who is serving as the 8th and current chief minister of West Bengal since 2011 and she was the first woman to hold the office she founded the all india trinamool congress party in 1998 after separating from the indian national congress and became its first chairperson she was the first woman railway minister of india served during the years 1999 and from 2009 to 2011 meera kumar is an indian politician and a former diplomat a member of the indian national congress she was the minister of social justice and empowerment from 2004 to 2009 the minister of water resources for a brief period in 2009 and the 15th speaker of lok sabha from 2009 to 2014 nirmala sitaraman is an indian politician serving as the current minister of finance and corporate affairs of india she is a member of the rajya sabha upper house of the indian parliament since 2014 and she was the first woman full time defense minister of india during the period 2017 to 2019 and at present she is occupying the honorable position of the finance minister of india since 2019 Anna Rajam George was an Indian administrative service officer. She was the first woman in India to hold this position. Lakshmi Pranesh she was the first woman chief secretary to the government of Tamil Nadu. A 1967 batch IAS officer. Chokila Iyer is an Indian foreign service officer and the India's first female foreign secretary. She took charge on 14th March 2001 replacing Mr Lalit Man Singh. She is a 1964 batch officer, a native of Darjeeling and earlier headed the Indian Mission in Ireland. Pranjal Patil, she hails from Ulhas Nagar in Maharashtra. She lost her vision at the age of 6. but she and managed to become india's first visually impaired woman ias officer and took charge as the sub collector of kerala's tiruvannamalai district while assuming charge pranjal said we should never be defeated and we should never give up with our efforts all of us will get that one breakthrough which we want Kiran Bedi is an Indian politician, retired IPS officer, social activist and former tennis player. And she was the 24th Lieutenant Governor of Puducherry from 28 May 2016 to 16 February 2021. She gained lot of laurels to her credits. Kanchan Chaudhary Bhattacharya was the second woman officer in IPS service in India. the first being Kiran Bedi Kanchan Chaudhary was a 1973 batch IPS officer and she was the first woman to become the director general of police of a state Prithika Yashini is the first transgender woman to be a police officer in India she became the first trans woman sub inspector in Tamil Nadu she began her career in Chennai working as a warden in a women's hostel and applied for the recruitment as a sub inspector of police to the Tamil Nadu Uniform Services Recruitment Board and 
She took charge as a sub-inspector in Dharmapuri district in Tamil Nadu on April 2nd, 2017 and is posted in the Law and Order Wing. She got an award from Behind Woods 2019 as an icon of inspiration for the first third gender police officer. Pandita Ramabai Saraswati was a women's rights and education activist, a pioneer in the education and emancipation of women in India and a social reformer as well. She was the first woman to be awarded the titles of Pandita as a Sanskrit scholar and Saraswati after being examined by the faculty of the University of Calcutta. She was one of the 10 women delegates of the Congress session of 1889. She founded Mukti Mission at Ketgon village near Pune. The mission was later named as Pandita Ramabai Mukti Mission. She was the first woman to be awarded the Kesari Hind by the British Raj during the year 1919. Vijay Lakshmi Pandit was an Indian diplomat and politician and was the first female elected to the 6th Governor of Maharashtra. and she was the first woman president of the UN General Assembly during the year 1953 C B Muthamma was the first woman to clear the Indian civil services examinations she was also the first woman to join the Indian foreign service she was the first Indian woman diplomat as well later she became the first Indian woman ambassador also during the year 1970 Asha Pandey was the first woman member of Legion of Honor during the year 2009. Neeta Ambani she is from Mumbai and she was the first Indian woman to become an individual member of the International Olympic Committee. Savitri Bai Bhule she is the first female teacher of India and popularly known as mother of modern girls education. She was not only a teacher but a great woman social reformer associated with the Satya Sodak Samaj in Maharashtra. She relentlessly fought against the dominant caste system and worked towards the upliftment of the marginalized. Her legacy has been memorialized in statues, stamps, books and films. The University of Pune is renamed after her and it is now known as Savitri Bai Bhule Pune University. Fatima Sheikh Most of us know the valuable contribution of Savitri Bai Bhule towards the education of girls but few know the woman who made the goal of Savitri Bai possible she was none other than Fatima Sheikh and is widely recognized as the first woman muslim teacher in india she not only taught in the school but also worked with Savitri Bai Bhule to establish the first school for girls at her own house Several writings say that Fatima Sheikh used to spend hours counseling parents who did not wish to send their girls to schools. Therefore, today every educated Indian woman owes a debt of gratitude to Savitri Bai Bhule and Fatima Sheikh as well. Kadambini Ganguly, she was one of the first Indian female doctors who practiced with a degree in western medicine alongside other pioneering women such as Anandi Bai Joshi and Ani Jagannathan Kadambini Ganguly and Chandramukhi Basu became the first graduates from Bethune College and in the process became the first female graduates in the country and in the entire British Empire Ganguly was an active campaigner for social change in India and organized the 1906 women's conference in Calcutta after the partition of Bengal It is interesting to note that her provoking lecture led the university authorities of Calcutta to amend their policies and open their doors to all female students as a champion of women's education and rights Kadambini Ganguly may have long gone but she will never be forgotten Kamini Roy people always get inspired by the poetry and articles that are written with deep thoughts experience and ideas Kamini Roy was a Bengali educator, poet and an activist. She was the first woman honors graduate in British India. She spent her life by fighting for women's rights to education and vote. 
she used her power skills and hard work to raise the voice for women on 12th october 2019 google commemorated kamini roy with a doodle on her 155th birth anniversary muttu lakshmi reddy she was an eminent medical practitioner social reformer and padma bhushan awardee in india in spite of various constraints faced by girls in india of her time she could complete her higher education and was admitted into the medical profession in 1907 and graduated in 1912 it is important to highlight here that she was nominated to the madras legislature as a member of the legislative council in 1926 and became the first woman to be a member of legislature in india her two outstanding monumental gifts for humanity or the avai home for children and the adayar cancer institute asima chatterji the field of science and technology had been an overtly male dominated area since time immemorial in the 20th century india women were hardly ever allowed to pursue a career in science even fewer were given the due credit they deserve for their achievements asima chatterji was one such woman A successful organic chemist of her time, she was the first woman to be awarded a doctorate of science degree from an Indian university. She also became the first woman scientist to chair any university in India. She was given the Padma Bhushan by the government of India in 1975. She was nominated as a member of the Rajya Sabha by the President of India and she served the position till May 1990. Geeta Gopinath She is an Indian American economist who has been the chief economist of the International Monetary Fund since 2019. In that role, she is the director of IMF's research department and the economic counselor of the fund. She was appointed as the chief economist of the International Monetary Fund in October 2018. Gagandeep Kang She is an Indian virologist who is a professor in the Department of Gastrointestinal Sciences at the Christian Medical College Vellore and from August 2016 to July 2020 she was the executive director of the Transnational Health Science and Technology Institute Faridabad She is a leading researcher with a major research focus on viral infections in children and the testing of rotoviral vaccines In 2019 she became the first Indian woman to be elected as a fellow of the Royal Society She was on the Life Sciences jury for the Infosys Prize in 2020 She was the ninth woman to be awarded the Infosys Prize and she is the first Indian and the first woman to edit Manson's textbook of tropical medicine. Cornelia Sorabji While women in Britain were campaigning for the right to vote, Cornelia Sorabji became the first woman to practice law in India. After she received a first class degree from Bombay University in 1888 British supporters helped to send her to Oxford University she was an indian lawyer social reformer and a writer she was the first female graduate from bombay university the first woman to study law at oxford university and the first female advocate in india Lily Isabel Thomas she joined the Madras High Court in 1955 and later on went to become the first woman to complete the LLM course from Madras University Advocate Lily Thomas was responsible for striking down of section 84 of the Representation of the People's Act 1951 to disqualify a legislator immediately when convicted for two or more years prison Another social evil she noticed was about husbands who were converting to another religion just to have more than one wife. Her petition stopped this social evil as well. Anna Chandi, Justice Anna Chandi, also known as Anna Chandi, was the first female judge and then High Court judge in India. She was in fact one of the first female judges in the British Empire next to Emily Murphy. She practiced as a barrister from 1929 while simultaneously promoting the cause of women's rights most notably in Srimati a magazine that she founded and edited. She is often described as a first generation feminist. In her retirement Chandi served on the Law Commission of India and also wrote an autobiography titled Atmakatha in 1973 Zia Modi she is an Indian corporate lawyer and businesswoman 
She is the daughter of Soli Sorabji, a former Attorney General of India. She was a founding partner of AZB and Partners, one of the India's leading law firms and one of India's foremost corporate attorneys. She has worked with GE, Tata Group, Reliance Industries, Aditya Birla Group and the Vedanta Group. She is number one ranked as the most powerful women entrepreneurs by Fortune India in 2018 and 2019. Zia Modi's charity almost entirely goes to the Baha'i faith. Meera Sahib Fatima B.V. She is a former judge of the Supreme Court of India. Appointed to the Apex Court in 1989, she became the first female judge to be a part of the Supreme Court of India and the first Muslim woman to be appointed to any of the higher judiciaries in the country. On her retirement from the court, she served as a member of the National Human Rights Commission and later as a governor of the Indian state of Tamil Nadu from 1997 to 2001. Leela Seth, she was an Indian judge who served as the first woman judge on the Delhi High Court and became the first woman to become Chief Justice of a state high court, Himachal Pradesh High Court on 5th August 1991. She was also the first lady lawyer to be designated as a senior counsel by the Supreme Court of India. She was a member of the 15th Law Commission of India from 1997 to 2000 and was responsible for the amendments to the Hindu Succession Act that gave equal rights to daughters in joint family property. Dr. Neeru Chada, she was the first woman chief advisor to the Ministry of External Affairs and she was the first Indian woman member of the International Tribunal for the Law of the Seas. She did a graduation from the University of Michigan and the University of Delhi and joined the Legal and Treaties Division of the Ministry of External Affairs in 1992. And in the process, she became the first woman legal advisor on international law, not just in India, but the whole of South Asia, according to Indian Law News. Dr. Vijayalakshmi Ramanan. She was an Indian physician and career army officer. She was the first woman to be commissioned as an Indian Air Force officer and served as a surgeon in several military hospitals in India. She was a recipient of the Army's Vishistha Sheva Medal in 1977 and retired as a wing commander in 1979. With an Indian Air Force not having uniforms for women at the time of her joining, she is said to have custom tailored a sari and blouse with the Air Force colors that then became the standard issue for women officers. Punita Arora She was the first woman to secure the second highest rank of Lieutenant General in the Indian Armed Forces. Not just that, she was the first woman officer to command the Armed Forces Medical College in 2004 and the first woman Vice Admiral of the Indian Navy in 2005. She has been awarded 15 medals in her entire defense career that spans 36 years and is also a receiver of the Vishis Seva Medal, Param Vishis Seva Medal and the Sena Medal. Priya Jingan She was a law graduate who happens to be the daughter of a police officer and was the first female to be enrolled. She penned a letter to the Chief of the Army Staff General Sunit Francis Rodriguez expressing her wish to join the defense and from then on started a journey. Jingan served the army for a glorious 10-year period as a judge advocate general and retired from the services in 2002. Harita Kaur Diol Flight Lieutenant Harita Kaur Diol was a pilot with the Indian Air Force. She was the first woman pilot to fly solo in the Indian Air Force. She became one of the first seven women cadets inducted into the Air Force at Short Service Commission Officers. This marked a critical phase in training of women in India as transport pilots. Nupur Kulshesta, she joined the service of the Indian Coast Guard in 1999. She became the first woman to be advanced as Deputy Inspector General of Indian Coast Guard. She also added that this is taking women ahead and it is definitely a one step forward for women. 
Padma Bandopadhyaya. She was the first woman to be promoted to the rank of Air Marshal in the Indian Air Force and is the second woman in the Indian Armed Forces to be promoted to a three-star rank after Surgeon Vice Admiral Punita Arora. She was the first woman to become a Fellow of the Aerospace Medical Society of India and the first Indian woman to conduct scientific research at the North Pole. She is also the first woman armed force officers to have completed the Defence Service Staff College course in 1978. Shanti Tiga She was the first female Jawan in the Indian Army. Her fitness and skills surpassed that of her male colleagues following which she was awarded the title of Best Trainee in the Recruitment Training Camp. She impressed her firing officers with her handling of guns and was awarded the highest position of a marksman. Divya Ajit Kumar She is an officer of the Indian Army of Army Air Defense and she passed out from OTA Chennai. She is the first woman to write her name in a fresh page of Indian Army history by becoming the first lady cadet to be confirmed by the army with a coveted sword of honor. She led all women contingent of 154 women officers and cadets during the Republic Day 2015 parade. Avani Chaturvedi Flight Lieutenant Avani Chaturvedi was declared as the first woman combat pilot along with two of her cohorts, Mohana Singh Jitarwal and Bhavna Khant. The trio was inducted into the Indian Air Force Fighter Squadron in 2016. They were formally commissioned by the Defence Minister on 18 June 2016 to serve the nation. In 2018, Avani Chaturdi became the first Indian woman pilot to take a solo flight in a MIG-21. In 2018, she was promoted to the rank of Flight Lieutenant. Bhavana Khan She is one of the first female fighter pilots of India. She was declared as the first combat pilot along with two of her cohorts. The trio was inducted in the Indian Air Force Fighter Squadron in 2016. In May 2019, Bhavna Khan became the first female fighter pilot in India to qualify to undertake combat missions. Shivangi She was inducted into the Indian Navy under the Short Service Commission Pilot Entry Scheme. In 2018, she was commissioned into the Indian Navy. Shivangi became the first female fighter pilot of the Indian Navy on 2nd December 2019. She is slated to subsequently become an operational pilot on maritime reconnaissance aircraft after completing her training as of December 2019. She is currently flying Dornier 228. Seema Rao, sometimes referred to as India's Wonder Woman. She is India's first woman commando trainer having trained Special Forces of India for over two decades without compensation. She is an expert in close quarter battle, the art of fighting in tight proximity and is involved in training various Indian forces. Kumudini Tyagi She is one of the first two women along with Riti Singh to have earned their wings for operating from Indian Navy warships. She was inducted as an observer in the helicopter fleet of the Indian Navy and she was among a group of 17 officers including 4 women officers and 3 officers of the Indian Coast Guard who were awarded wings on graduating as observers at a ceremony held at INS Garuda, Kochi. Her deployments were expected to be on frontline Indian Navy warships including long duration missions. Riti Singh Sub-Lieutenant Riti Singh is one of the first two women along with Kumudini Tyagi to have earned their wings for operating from Indian Navy warships. Her training includes air navigation, flying procedure, air warfare, anti-submarine warfare. She is now training to operate a host of sensors on board Navy multi-role or utility helicopters including sonar consoles and intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance payloads. Durga Bai Khamat She was a Marathi actress and is considered to be the first actress of Indian cinema. In the early 1900s, acting in film or theatre was a taboo for women. So much so, Dada Sai Palke, the father of Indian cinema, had to use male actors to female role in first Indian film Raja Arish Chandra. However, with its success, female actors were encouraged. Thus, 
he introduced durga bai kamat in his 1913 second movie mohini basmasur as a leading lady parvati while her daughter kamla bai gokle played the role of mohini thus becoming the first female child actress of indian cinema after durga bai kamat other actress started working in cinema Gauri Devi the chipko movement is a topic taught in almost all of the schools and everyone remembers Sundarlal Bahuna its leader but does anyone know about female aspect the chipko movement started in 1974 under the leadership of Gauri Devi who organized the women to hug the trees and prevent their cutting Gauri Devi was elected to lead the Mahila Mangal Dal in the wake of the Chipko movement and the organization worked on the protection of community forest. The history of Indian women is full of pioneers who have broken gender barriers and worked hard for their rights and made progress in almost all the fields. And I have been trying to dig into our history timelines and come out with names of India's female unsung heroes. By taking the video series forward, I have chosen those first Indian women who have pioneered a career in aviation and transport. They were not just the first women to operate different means of transport, but their story of success is as inspiring as anyone's today. Sarla Thakral. She was the first Indian woman to fly an aircraft. She was fiercely ambitious who got an aviation pilot license in 1936 when she was just 21 years old. When Sharla took her first flight, she was not just married but also a mother of a 4-year-old daughter and she stepped into the cockpit in a sari. Kanika Tekrewal, she is the CEO and founder of Jet Set Go. The Jet Set Go operates India's largest private jet and helicopter fleet and currently holds over 20% of the total market as single largest market shareholder. Ms. Kanika Tekrewal was only chosen as one of the 100 most inspirational women in the world by BBC and also recognized by Forbes Asia as one of the under 30 leading entrepreneurs in Asia amongst various other Prem Mathur She became the first Indian woman to get a pilot's license in 1932 and she was the first Indian woman commercial pilot in the Deccan Airways. Captain Durga Banerjee, she was the first woman pilot of Okinawa Airlines in Japan in 1956. Started her aviation career flying an aircraft with Air Survey of Japan as a DC-3 pilot in 1959 and she becomes the first Indian woman pilot of the state airline. Kumuda Mal she was the daughter of the famous lawyer in Madras VL Narasimhacharya and she was the first woman pilot in Madras Hina Jaiswal she has scripted history by becoming the first woman flight engineer to be inducted by the Indian Air Force Captain Arohi Pandit she became the world's first woman to cross the Atlantic Ocean solo in light sports aircraft thrilling her family friends and aviation circles Avani Chaturvedi Flight Lieutenant Avani Chaturvedi is an Indian pilot from Rewa district and she was declared as the first woman combat pilot along with two of her cohorts Mohana Singh Jitarwal and Bhavna Khan Susan R D Tata she becomes the first Indian woman to drive a car Sureka Shankar Yadav she was appointed as the driver for the goods train and was promoted to the position of motor woman in 2000 In 2010 she was appointed as a driver on the railway line at Western Guards and was promoted to the post of express mail driver in 2011. Mumtaz Kazi she became the first Asian woman to drive a diesel locomotive in September 1991. And Priyanka it is a rite of passage that most youngsters aspire to grow up to become a train driver but young Priyanka had no such ambition. All she wanted was a well-paying job and this 20-year-old did the land one as the first woman loco pilot of Namma Metro. To top it, she drove the inaugural train from MG Road to Bayappanna Halli, Bangalore. Shila Dore, she is the first Indian woman to become an auto driver as early as 1988. Recorded in the Limca Book of World Records as the first woman auto rickshaw driver in the country, Sheila Dore never in her life imagined becoming a trailblazer to women who dreamt of driving auto rickshaws but restrained themselves because it was a male dominated sphere. 
M Vasantakumari. She is from Kanyakumari and is Asia's first woman bus driver. She joined service in 1993. She took up driving to support her family of 6 children and she is regular on the route between Nagarkoil and Tiruvananthapuram. She wants to open a driving school for women and she has been conferred with the Raindrops Achiever Award recently. Since time immemorial, India is famed for its rich contribution to the field of science and mathematics. In fact, the concept of zero as a number and decimal system were inventions of brilliant mathematicians of ancient India. India's rich history is replete with examples of several great scientists who have brought immense pride to the nation. For so long, the male scientists dominated the tech world in all aspects. Women were overlooked when men were at the helm of things. Women have a lot of catching up to do. They are making every possible attempt to carve out a reputation for themselves as successful women scientists who have contributed significantly to various disciplines of science. Anandi Bai Gopal Rao Joshi She was the first female Indian physician and was also the first woman in India to complete her studies in Western medicine from the United States. Anandi Bai has a rich legacy and inspired many women to pursue the field of medicine in India and in the US. Doordarshan also based its television series on her life and American feminist writer Carolyn Wells Haley Dahl penned down her biography in 1888. Thus she has created history by making huge strides so early in her life in a field which required precision and extensive education. Kadambini Ganguly, gynecologist by profession, she was one of the first two women in India to have a college degree and the first Indian to practice medicine. She worked as a doctor till she was 61 and she was also the first female speaker at the Indian National Congress. In 1886 Kadambini Ganguly and Anandi Bai Gopal Joshi became the first women from India to be trained in western medicine. Janagi Ammal she was the first Indian scientist to have received the Padma Shri award in 1977 and she went on to occupy the reputed post of the director general of the Botanical Survey of India. In 1900s Janagi Ammal took up botany which was an unusual choice for women. and she obtained an honors degree in botany from the presidency college in 1921 she pursued scientific research in cytogenetics a branch of genetics that is concerned with how the chromosomes can relate to the cell behavior and phytogeography and it is concerned with the geographic distribution of the plant species as well janagi ammal most renowned work is on sugarcane and brinjal Kamala Sohoni she was the first indian woman to have bagged a phd degree in the scientific discipline she applied to the indian institute of science for a research fellowship and met with rejection merely because she was a woman she was the first female student of professor c v raman who was then the director of the indian institute of science due to her excellent performance raman gave her permission to pursue further research She discovered that every cell of a plant tissue contained the enzyme cytochrome C which was involved in the oxidation of all plant cells. Asima Chatterjee, she is regarded highly for her works in the fields of organic chemistry and phytochemistry. She graduated in chemistry from the Scottish Church College of the University of Calcutta in 1936 and then pursued her research. In 1975 she was confirmed the prestigious Padma Bhushan and became the first lady scientist to be elected as the general president of the Indian Science Congress Association. She was confirmed the doctorate of science. She was nominated by the president of India as a member of the Rajya Sabha from February 1982 to May 1990. Rajeshwari Chatterjee. She was the first woman engineer from the state of Karnataka and received a government scholarship to study abroad in 1946. She studied at the University of Michigan where she obtained her master's degree from the Department of Electrical Engineering. After obtaining a doctorate degree she returned to India and joined the Department of Electrical Communication Engineering at Indian Institute of Science as a faculty member where she along with her husband 
set up a microwave research laboratory where they did pioneering work on microwave engineering. Shakuntala A. Bhagat She was the first woman civil engineer with her husband Anirudh S. Bhagat and they were engaged in research and development in bridge superstructures. They jointly evolved the first ever total systems approach in this field which involved using standardized modular parts applicable across various types of bridges of different spans and traffic widths and loading merely through permutations in assemblies. Shaguntala Bhagat worked as assistant professor in civil engineering in IIT Bombay from 1960 to 1970. She designed over 200 quadricon steel bridges of spans ranging from 18 meter to 138 meter. Shaguntala A. Bhagat was awarded the Woman Engineer of the Year Award in 1993. Kamal Ranadeve, she was a renowned Indian biomedical researcher who is known for her research in cancer. She established the first tissue culture laboratory in India and founded the Indian Women Scientists Association. She also received the Watermall Foundation Award for her work in the field of leprosy. Gagandeep Kang, she is a virologist and scientist and is known for her interdisciplinary research in transmission, development and prevention of enteric infections and their sequelae in children in India. She has been elected as a Fellow of the Royal Society and the first Indian woman scientist to receive this honour. She is the Executive Director of the Translational Health Sciences and Technology Institute Faridabad and is the Chairperson of the World Health Organization and the Southeast Asia's Immunization Technically Advisory Group. She investigates on the complex relationship between infection, gut function and physical and cognitive development and seeking to build a stronger human immunology research in India. Archana Sharma She was an Indian woman botanist, a cytogeneticist, cell biologist and a cytotoxicologist. She was a founding editor of The Nucleus, which is an international journal of cytology. She researched chromosomes of reproductive plants, pesticides and other environmental agents. She was also associated with the Government of India across the departments including the Science and Engineering Research Council of the Department of Science and Technology, Environmental Research Council of the Ministry of Environment and Forest and the Ministry of Human Resource Development. Anna Mani she was an Indian physicist and meteorologist and she was the Deputy Director General of the Indian Meteorological Department. She made significant contributions in the field of meteorological instrumentation. She conducted research and published numerous papers on solar radiation, ozone and wind energy measurements. Passionate about nature, trekking and bird watching, she was a member of many scientific organizations. In 1987, she received the INSA K.R. Ramanathan Medal for her achievements. Kalpana Chawla She became the first Indian-born woman astronaut to have forayed into the space. She first flew on a space shuttle Columbia in 1997 as a mission specialist and primary robotic arm operator. She then moved to the US in 1982 and obtained a Master of Science degree in Aerospace Engineering from the University of Texas at Arlington in 1984 and earned a second master's in 1986 and a PhD in Aerospace Engineering in 1988 from the University of Colorado. Chavla was one of the crew members who died in the Space Shuttle Columbia disaster on February 1, 2003. The tragedy occurred when the Space Shuttle disintegrated while returning into the Earth's atmosphere. Biba Chaudhary she is a physicist and is one of the early contributors of science and has a star named after her. In December 2019, the star, which is nearly 340 light years away from us, was named Biba to honor Indian women contribution in science. Chaudhary was known for her work on elementary particle physics and cosmic rays and was also the only girl student in her master's course in physics in 1934. Airavati Karve, she is the first female Indian anthropologist who made a way in the male-dominated discipline in the Indian society. Her multidisciplinary work includes storytelling and philosophy. Her famous book Yuganta was awarded the Sahitya Academy Award for Marathi in 1968, making her the first female author in the state to receive it. 
the department of anthropology dr baba saheb ambedkar bhavan of savitri bai bhule university also has a museum called airavati karve museum of anthropology preserving the cultural values of the indian society dr indra hinduja with a doctorate degree in human in vitro fertilization and embryo transfer from the bombay university dr indra hinduja is an indian gynecologist obstetrician and infertility specialist who pioneered the gamete intro fallopian transfer technique resulting in the birth of india's first gift baby on 4th january 1988 Prior to this she delivered India's first test tube baby at KEM hospital on 6th August 1986 Dr Hindra Hinduja is also credited for, for developing an oocyte donation technique for menopausal and premature ovarian failure patients giving the country's first baby out of this technique on 24th January 1991 Darshan Ranganathan she is an organic chemist from India who was known for her work in bio organic chemistry She was an elected fellow of the Indian Academy of Sciences, Indian National Science Academy and the recipient of many honors including the Third World Academy of Science Award in Chemistry. Raman Parimala, she was an Indian mathematician known for her contribution to algebra. She has several awards to her name like Bhatnagar Award, Srinivas Ramanujan Birth Centenary Award, TWAS prize and was also a member of the Indian Academy of Sciences and American Mathematical Society. Shubha Tole, she is a well known for her contribution in the field of neuroscience. She was a recipient of Shanti Swarup Bhatnagar Prize in 2010 and currently works at Tata Institute of Fundamental Research Mumbai. Paramjit Kurana is known for inventing all weather seeds. She developed hybrid strains of mulberry wheat and rice that are drought resistant and can withstand heat and have a higher uv radiation capacity thus helping the farmers who depend on weather condition for their crops dr aditi pant a successful oceanographer dr aditi pant was the first indian woman to visit antarctica in 1983 as a part of the indian expedition to study geology and oceanography Pant was inspired to take up oceanography when she came across the book The Open Sea by Alistair Hardy when she was a BSc student at the University of Pune. She got a US government scholarship to study an MS in Marine Sciences in the University of Hawaii. She did her PhD in Westfield College London and her PhD thesis was based on the physiology of marine algae. She made the entire Indian nation proud by becoming the first Indian woman to participate in the Antarctic expedition. She and her teammates have made significant contributions in the project and was awarded alongside her three colleagues for their valuable efforts. She later took up a job in the National Institute of Oceanography and the National Chemical Laboratory. Madhuri Mathur Contrary to the popular belief that Sumit was a brand born in southern India, Sumit was actually developed and designed in Mumbai. Mrs. Madhuri Mathur used the brawn blender from Germany for most of her cooking. While it was efficient, she noticed that it could not break down the spices used in Indian cooking. In 1963, Mr. Mathur floated a company called Power Control and Appliances Company. Four employees from Siemens India joined him. Within two years, they had a workable electric motor, and by 1970, they had designed a single jar for dry mixing as well as wet grinding. 50,000 Sumit mixes were being sold every month. Dr. Valarmati, she is an Indian scientist and project director of Resat One, the India's first indigenously developed radar imaging satellite. She has been working with the ISRO since 1984 and involved in many missions, including Insat 2A, IRS 1C, IRS 1D, TES. She is the second woman scientist of Indian Space Research Organisation to head a prestigious project after Anuradha. the project director of GSAT 12 mission in 2011 Dr Valarmadi is the first person to receive Abdul Kalam award instituted by the government of Tamil Nadu in honor of the former president Abdul Kalam in 2015 and this award is being given in recognition of contributions on scientific development humanities and students welfare Tessie Thomas she is the first indian woman scientist to have headed a missile project earning her the nickname Missile Lady. She was the project director for the Agni 4 and Agni 5 missile. 
of Defense and Research Development Organization and she is the recipient of the Lal Bahadur Shastri National Award for her work in the field of missile technology in India. Ritu Karidal As a mission director of the Chandrayaan-2 mission, she was fitted for role in helming one of India's most ambitious lunar project. She was responsible for detailing and the execution of craft's onward autonomy system that independently operated the satellite functions in space and responded appropriately to malfunctions. She has been dubbed as the rocket woman of India when she joined ISRO in 2007 and was also the deputy operation director to India's Mars orbiter mission Mangalyaan. In 2007, she received the ISRO Young Scientist Award from APJ Abdul Kalam, the then president of India. Muttaiya Vanita She is the project director of Chandrayaan 2 and she is the first woman to lead the interplanetary mission at ISRO. She was promoted from associate director to project director of the mission. She has worked at ISRO for over 3 decades and she has occupied several roles and she also managed data operations for remote sensing satellites. In 2006, she received the best woman scientist award. Mangala Mani, the polar woman of ISRO. Mangala Mani is ISRO's first woman scientist to spend more than a year in the icy landscape of Antarctica. In November 2016 she was a part of 23 member team that went on an expedition to Bharati India's research station in Antarctica and she spent 403 days at the southernmost continent operating and maintaining ISRO's ground station Kamakshi Shivaramakrishnan she is on board NASA's New Horizon mission which is probing Pluto She is responsible for building the algorithm and the chip that is responsible for bringing information from Pluto. She explored the idea of machine learning stack as lead scientist at AdMob after which she began research where her technology led her to work closely with the cosmos. Chandrima Shah, she is a biologist and the first ever woman president of the Indian National Science Academy. She specializes in cell biology and has conducted extensive research about the Leishmania parasite which causes kala azar. She has also authored over 80 research paper and received many awards like the Shakuntala Amirchand award and the special award for the 50th anniversary of DNA double helix discovery. for significant contributions towards understanding of cell death processes in different model organisms Devjani Ghosh she is a Bangladeshi born researcher of the University of Ulm and she is currently researching on how to create a new hybrid system of zero emission of electric airliners she is also working on the power generation management of the next generation of HY4 aircraft She is a firm believer in the power of technology in enhancing lives and livelihoods leveraging it for societal good and she was instrumental in developing Think Digital Think India strategy to support India's digital transformation journey especially as an enabler of inclusive growth and development Charu Sheeta Chakravarti is known for her work on the basis of molecules and effects of change in molecular base on DNA proteins She has also worked on classical and quantum Monte Carlo molecular dynamics and structure and dynamics of liquids earned her Shanti Swarup Bhatnaka prize and BM Birla Science Award. She worked as a chemistry professor at IIT Delhi. Usha Zahar, she is the director and chief technology officer at Maharashtra Hybrid Seeds Company Private Limited. where she has been utilizing biotechnological tools for improving the quality and productivity of seeds in agriculture she has the distinction of producing india's first genetically modified food bt brinjal therefore the women scientists are very rare in number and there are not many who are extending their services in the field of science but as far as the presence is concerned they have made significant contributions to scientific discovery and push the boundaries beyond human knowledge therefore we can say that women have made great strides in the industry but we still are a minority women pilots are at least at 13% as engineers in aviation and we are still at 6% as women they have overcome the physical challenges of the job but there is still this unacknowledged challenge of societal norms but at we need to salute all these trailblazers who did not give up their dreams in the face of opposition 
and continues to inspire a generation of women across India. Today, we shall look into the women record makers of India, particularly in the field of sports. Generally, sport has the power to change the lives. The ability to drive gender equality by teaching women and girls the teamwork, self-reliance, resilience and confidence. Women in sports defy the gender stereotypes and social norms, make inspiring role models and show men and women as equals. This accelerate effort to promote the women's leadership and equality in governance models, prevent and respond to gender-based violence, promote women's equal participation, and bias-free representation in media and also provides the equal opportunities. Many of the world's top women sport personalities prepare for various games and their remarkable achievements and unmatched potential has been recorded in history. In this video, we shall look into the women record makers of India in sports. As you all know, Mary Combe, also called as Miss Knockout or Magnificent Mary, is the first Indian woman to win a boxing gold at the Asian Games and she has also managed to bag five gold medals in the Asian Women's Boxing Championship during the year 2014. Hima Das, popularly called as Ding Express, is an Indian sprinter from the state of Assam and she holds the current Indian national record in 400 meters and she is the first Indian athlete to win a gold medal in a track event at the IAAF World U20 Championships in 2018. She was appointed as a Deputy Superintendent of Police in Assam Police under the state's integrated sport policy. Steffi Dezauza was a sportsperson who represented India in athletics and women's hockey in London. She represented India in the first international women's hockey tournament in London in 1953 and captained the side in 19. She won the Arjuna Award presented by the Government of India. P.T. Usha remained the queen of track and field for almost two decades, was arguably India's first sports icon who was an inspiration to people across the nook and corner of India, cutting across gender, generation and professional boundaries. She was the first Indian woman to reach the final of an Olympic event, 400 meters hurdles 1984. Sanya Mirza, she is an Indian professional tennis player and she has won six Grand Slam titles in her career. She was named one of the 50 heroes of Asia by Time in October 2005. And she was the first Indian woman to enter the third round of a Grand Slam tournament under the Junior Title Wimbledon Championship. She was named in Times Magazine 2016 list of the 100 most influential people in the world. Smriti Mandana She was the first Indian woman cricketer to score a double century in a one-day game. She has been named as the best women's international cricketer and she was also named as the ODI player of the year by the ICC at the time. Saina Nehwal, she is the first Indian woman to win a medal in badminton at the 2012 Olympic Games. She is an Indian professional badminton player and she has represented India three times in the Olympics winning a bronze medal in her second appearance. Mithali Raj, she is the first woman to score a double century in test cricket and she is a right-handed opening batswoman and occasional right arm leg break bowler. She is the highest run scorer in women's international cricket and she won the awards such as Arjuna Award and Padma Shri. Sandhu, she is the first woman to win gold in Asian Games in 1970. She received Padma Shri Award in 1971 and she was one of the finalists in the World University Games held at Turin, Italy. Saini Abraham Wilson. She has represented India in four Olympics, six Asian Championships, three Asian Games and seven SAF Games apart from other international competitions. She was the first woman to qualify for Olympic Games. Koneru Hampi. She is an Indian chess player who is also reigning Women's World Rapid Champion and she is a chess grandmaster at the age of 15 itself. In October 2007, she became the second female player to exceed the 2600 ELO rating mark, being rated 2606. Deepa Karmakar, she is a gymnast to qualify for Olympics in 2016 and she also won a bronze medal at the Asian Gymnastic Championship and finished fifth at the 2015 World Artistic Gymnastic Championship, both first for her country. Deepa Malik, 
she is an indian athlete and first woman to win a medal at the paralympics 2016 Sakshi Malik she is a wrestler to win the olympic medal in 2016 and she is a part of the JSW Sports Excellence program along with fellow female wrestlers Lalita Babar she is an athlete to reach the final of a track event at the olympics she predominantly competes in 3000 meters steep plichas and is a current indian national record holder and the reigning asian champion in the same event She was named as the sports person of the year in the India Sports Award 2015 organized by FICCI and the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports of India. Now Jyot Kaur, she represented India in the women's freestyle 67 kilo category and won the gold medal at the Asian Wrestling Championship. She scripted history by becoming the first Indian woman to win gold at the Senior Asian Wrestling Championship in Bishkesh. Vrinda Rathi, she is the first national woman cricket umpire from India and raised many eyebrows as she broke the glass ceiling to qualify as an umpire who will now be able to officiate men's first class matches. A journey from a cricketer to a scorer to an umpire is unequivocally exciting. Anju Bobby George She is the first Indian woman to win a medal at an international athletic competition. She was awarded the Arjuna Award in 2002, Khel Ratna in 2003 and Padma Shri in 2004. In 2021, Anju won the BBC Lifetime Achievement Award for the best athlete in India. GS Lakshmi, she is the first woman to be appointed as the ICC International Panel of Match Referees. She was a right-handed batswoman and right-arm fast medium outswing bowler. She became the first woman to be appointed to the International Cricket Council International Panel of Match Referees. Harman Preet Kaur, she is an Indian cricketer who serves as the captain of the Indian team in T20Is. She plays an all-rounder for the Indian women's cricket team and was awarded the Arjuna Award for Cricket in the year 2017 by the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports. Rahi Sharnobar, she is the first to win a shooting gold in the Asian Games. She won two gold medals in 2010 Commonwealth Games in New Delhi and she had previously won gold in the 25 meter pistol event at 2008 Youth Commonwealth Games. PV Sindhu she is an Indian professional badminton player and India's first world champion in badminton she rose to a career high world ranking of number 2 in 2017 Rani Rampal she is the first women hockey team captain and she has played 212 international matches and scored 134 goals in 2020 the government of india honored her with the padma shri Geeta Pogat she is a freestyle wrestler who won India's first ever gold medal in wrestling at the Commonwealth Games in 2010 and she is also the first Indian female wrestler to have qualified for the Summer Olympic Games Yolanda De Souza she also nicknamed as the hat trick queen was the first woman to score an international hat trick for India she was conferred with the Bakshi Bahadur Jeev Badada Kerkar award by the government of Goa in 1979 She was also the first woman to score an international hat trick for India against Swedish club in 1976. Neeta Ambani, she is the first woman to become an individual member of the International Olympic Committee 2016. She is the chairperson and founder of the Reliance Foundation and she was listed in 2016 in the 50 high and mighty Indians list by India Today and in the most influential women business leaders in Asia list by Forbes. She was the first Indian woman to become a member of the International Olympic Committee. Bhagyashri Tipse, she is an Indian chess player holding the title of Women International Master. She won 5 times the Indian Women Championship. She completed in the Women's World Championship in 2000. She is the recipient of Padma Shri and Arjuna Award. She was the joint winner with Vasanthi Unni at the British Ladies Championship held at Brighton in the year 1984. and she won the Asian Women's Championship held at Bhopal in the year 1991. Subbaraman Vijay Lakshmi, she is the first Indian woman to hold the Federation International titles, that is the International Master and Women Grand Master. She has won almost all the national age group titles including the senior title. She has won more medals than any other player for India in the Chess Olympiads. Hina Sidhu is an Indian sports shooter. and she is the first woman to win gold in a world cup shooting in 2013 and she is a right hander and is right eye dominant alisha abdullah she is an indian racing driver and is the country's first female national racing champion india's first f1 woman racer and national racing champion 
So from all these things highlighted over here, we can very well say that the sporting industry is making steps towards an equal future and however there is still a way to go. Sports has long mirrored society and so the discrepancy in equal pay between men and women has persisted within the sport just as it is in other professions. I believe in being strong when everything seems to be going wrong. These words by Esther Yer, actress Audrey Hepburn ring true even today. Women then or now have been consistently shattered by convention and are breaking into the fields that have been typically male dominated. Overcoming the many challenges that come their way, they have retained their indomitable spirit and emerged as role models for countless others. In this video, we shall look into the achievements of some of the great women in India. Arati Shaha She was the first Indian female sportsperson to be awarded with Padma Shri and she is a long distance swimmer from India. On 2nd September 1959, she became the first Asian woman to cross the English Channel by swimming. Bachendri Pal She is an Indian mountaineer who in 1984 became the first Indian woman to reach the summit of Mount Everest. She was awarded the third highest civilian award, Padma Bhushan, by the Government of India in 2019. She was honored with Padma Shri in 1960. Shantosh Yadav She is an Indian mountaineer and she is the first woman in the world to climb Mount Everest twice and the first woman to successfully climb Mount Everest from Kanchang Fesh. She climbed the peak first in 1992 and then again in 1993 with an Indo-Nepalese team. Arunima Shinha She is an Indian mountain climber and sportswoman. She is the world's first female amputee to scale the Mount Everest. Mount Kilimanjaro, Mount Elbrus, Mount Kosciuszko, Mount Aconcoga, Mount Denial and Mount Vinshan. She is also a seven-time Indian volleyball player. In 2015, the Government of India honored her with the Padma Shri Award. Tashi and Nancy Malik The Malik sisters from Dehradun are the first siblings and twins to to climb the seven summits to reach the North and South Poles and complete the Adventurers Grand Slam and Three Poles Challenge. Mahil Musha She was the first woman in India to have reached Antarctica in 1977. Suchita Kaditankar She is from Pune, India and became the first Indian woman to walk across the Gobi Desert, a distance of 1000 miles in Mongolia. She was also a part of a 13-member team from the nine countries led by Ripley Devonport, the desert explorer in the Gobi Desert 2011 expedition. Arohi Pandit She is an Indian pilot and in 2019 she became the world's first woman pilot and the youngest pilot at the age of 23 to cross the Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean solo in a light sport aircraft. After landing, she posed for a photo before her. Prem Lata Agarwal She is the first Indian woman to scale the seven summits, the seven highest continental peaks of the world. She was awarded the Padma Shri by the Government of India in 2013 and Tenzing Norgay National Adventure Award in 2017 for her achievements in the field of mountaineering. Ujwala Patil She is the first Indian woman as well as the first Asian woman to sail around the world in a yacht. Arati Pradhan She is an Indian open water swimmer and coach who has swum the English Channel and crossed the Strait of Gibraltar on 29th August 1988 in 7 hours 17 minutes at the age of 6. Shiny Abraham At the 1984 game, she became the first Indian woman to enter the semi-finals of an Olympic event. But the moment of reckoning came in 1985 when she won the gold in the 800m at the Asian Championship. In the same edition, she backed a 400m silver, so it was a double delight. She was awarded the Arjuna Award back in 1985 and the Padma Shri in 1998. Dekhi Dolma She is an Indian mountaineer known for being the youngest woman to summit Mount Everest up to the time at the age of 19 in 1993. This occurred on the Indo-Nepal Everest expedition. Dickey was also a skier and attended numerous sporting competitions including the 1989 All India Open Oli Sky Festival and the Asian Winter Games in 1999. She was also awarded the 1994 National Adventure Award. Sumita Laha She set a world record in squat in the 75 kg category in the World Women's Powerlifting Championship in New Delhi on 25th June 1991. Karna Malleshwari She is a retired Indian weightlifter. She is the first Indian woman 
went to win the medal at the Olympics in 2000. In 1994, she received the Arjuna Award and 1999, she received the Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna Award. the india's highest sporting honor and the civilian padma shri award aruna reddy she became the first indian gymnast to win a medal at the gymnastics world cup this 22 year old gymnast trained for 13 years before she won the bronze in melbourne there is a long and growing list of women achievers out there and we salute every one of them for trying to break the bias awards or mark of recognition of excellence they act as stimulant for striving towards perfection The fundamental duty in Indian constitution urges every Indian men and women to achieve better outcome in every field for developing the society as a whole. Accordingly, every year the government of India honors those persons who have made the world proud by their human endeavor. The national awards such as Bharat Ratna, Padma awards The highest Indian civilian honors don't come with any monetary benefit which depicts that they are beyond any monetary valuation. Monetary valuation would limit the importance of such an award. There is a saying which asks one to work irrespective of thinking about recognition. But appreciation, acclamation also brings in attention. and when the awards are given at the national level they bear immense prestige dignity and honor the awardees get global recognition and their work be it in any sphere gets due respect and limelight the awards which has been bestowed by the head of the state the honorable president of india graces the occasion that's why we value the national awards and the award ceremony makes people feel that their work is valued with this background in this video we shall see the first indian women who were the award winners of different categories during the 20th and the 21st century come let us have a look at them one by one pandita ramabai saraswati She was the first Indian woman to be awarded the Kesari Hind Medal by the British government during the year 1919 and she has contributed a lot towards the betterment of the society through her selfless services. Amrita Pritham she was the first female recipient of the Sahitya Academy award in 1956 for her poetic works. and she received the bharatiya gnanapith award that is the india's highest literary award in 1982 for kagaz te kanvas devika rani in 1958 the government of india honored her with a padma shri the country's fourth highest civilian honor she became the first ever recipient of the dada saheb palke award which is the country's highest award for films when it was instituted in 1969 nargis dat she was the first female actress to be conferred by the government of india with the padma shri title the fourth highest civilian award in 1968 she has also received the national film award for best actress for raat aur din in 1968 as well aarti shah She was the first Indian female sports person to be awarded Padma Shri. She is a long distance swimmer from India. On 2nd September in 1959 she became the first Asian woman to cross the English Channel by swimming and she was honored with Padma Shri in 1960. Steffi De Souza She represented India in the first international women's hockey tournament in London in 1953 and captained the side in 1961. Acknowledging the talent of Steffi De Souza, Indian government conferred the highly prestigious sports award in India that is the Arjuna Award in 1961 after her silver from the tournament of 1958 Commonwealth Games. She was the first woman to win the Arjuna award. Asima Chatterjee in 1961 she received the Shanti Swarup Bhatnagar award in chemical science becoming the first female recipient of this award. 
In 1975, she was conferred the Padma Bhushan and became the first female scientist to be elected as the general president of the Indian Science Congress Association. Anna Lumsden. She was the first woman to win the Arjuna Award for hockey and she was also a good tennis player and was in Karnak House at La Martiniere for Girls Calcutta. The Vice President of India Dr S Radhakrishnan presenting the Arjuna Award to Anne Lumsden at a function held at Ashoka Hall in Rashtrapati Bhavan in New Delhi on 14th March 1962 Aruna Asafali who is considered to be the unsung firebrand who was the heart of the Quit India movement was awarded with the International Lenin Peace Prize for the year 1964 and the Jawaharlal Nehru Award for International Understanding in 1991 Kamala Devi Chattopadhyay she was awarded the Raman Magsaysay Award in 1966 for community leadership in 1974 she was awarded with the Sangeet Natak Academy fellowship Ratna Sadasya in recognition of her lifetime works the fellowship is the highest award of Sangeet Natak Academy Indian National Academy of Music Dance and Drama Rita Faria Powell She is an Indian physician former model and the winner of the Miss World 1966 contest Born in Mumbai to Goan parents she made her the first Asian woman to win the beauty contest Shrimati Indira Gandhi She was an Indian politician and was elected as the Prime Minister of India in 1966 She was awarded with the highest Indian civilian honor the Bharat Ratna for her aid to Bangladesh in its liberation as a separate nation in 1971 Asha Purna Devi She was a prominent Indian novelist and a poet in Bengali in 1976 she was awarded the Gyanapeed award and Padma Shri by the government of India She was awarded with the DLit by the universities of Jabalpur, Rabindra Bharati, Burdwan and Jadavpur. Mother Teresa in 1979 she was awarded with the Nobel Peace Prize. She was the leader of missionaries of charity in Calcutta. At the age of 12 she felt strongly the call of God. She knew she had to be a missionary to spread the love of Christ. Banu Attaya She became the first Indian to win an Academy Award for designing the costumes for Richan Attenborough's Gandhi released in 1982. She is a woman who got immense success when people were having various women related taboos. Banu made many impossible things possible with the help of her father who made a way to success for her. MS Subbulakshmi Madurai Sanmuga Vadivu Subbulakshmi was a Carnatic singer and was the first musician ever to be awarded the Bharat Ratna in 1988. She was also actively involved in humanitarian work and is said to have performed in more than 200 charity concerts that together generated more than 1 crore. MS Subbulakshmi was also known to have given away the bulk of her prize money for social causes. Bimla Devi On 31st August 1988 a mini bus traveling from Jaffna to Colombo was stopped at the Elephant Pass checkpoint Frisking Point During the search 422 detonators number no. 27 were recovered from Mrs Katita Uma who was reluctant in cooperating with the search When constable Bimla Devi was ordered to continue the search further She adeptly conducted the search and recovered 770 detonators number no. 27. After interrogating Uma, she discovered that the person she was working for as a courier was on the same bus and apprehended both of them for displaying utmost devotion towards duty. Constable Bimla Devi was decorated with the Sena medal in 1988. Name Raktam Kunjarani Devi is the most decorated Indian sportswoman in weightlifting. She was a recipient of the Arjuna Award in 1990 and shared the Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna Award with Leander Pais for the year 96 and 97. In the same year, she also won the KK Birla Sports Award. 
Shushmita Sen. She was the first Indian to win the Miss Universe title in 1994 when she was just 18 years old. She went on to become an actress and has starred in films such as BV Number no. One, Me Hu Na, Filhal, and Sir Tum. Karna Malleshwari. She is a retired Indian weightlifter and was the first Indian woman to win a medal at the Olympics in 2000. In 1994, she received the Arjuna Award, and in 1999, she received the Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna Award, that is the India's highest sporting honor. and the civilian padma shri award arundhati rai she is an indian author best known for her novel the god of small things which won the booker prize for fiction in 1997 and it became the best selling book by a non expatriate indian author hansa sharma she is the head coach of the national women's boxing team uttarakhand and was the first woman to win the dronacharya award of the government of india during the year 2000 neerja banot mishra for her bravery the government of india posthumously awarded banot the ashok chakra award the india's highest gallantry award for bravery in the face of enemy during the peace time and she is the youngest recipient and the first female recipient of this award during the year 2004 divya karnad she is an assistant professor of environmental studies with a phd in geography from rutgers university usa and she was the first indian woman to receive the future of nature award for marine conservation in 2019 dr amrita patel She is an Indian social scientist who has become the first recipient of the Norman Borlaug Award for field research and applications by the World Food Prize Foundation during the period of 1980s. So we have come to the end of the video. The awards shows approval and gratitude for each person's good job and it makes people aware that good work will be rewarded. it shows others such as the general public and other members that you are aware of outstanding accomplishments and in the case of women when they achieve remarkable success and get recognition it is absolutely an inspiring one for the younger generation to follow in order to achieve their own empowerment with all these facts highlighted these women ought to be given a big salute in history thank you for watching